how to celebrate the holiday of Sukkot, otherwise known the holiday of the tabernacles. You may have noticed that there's this time of year that your fellow Jewish neighbors would build a hut either on the front porch, on the side yard, on the front yard, or near the temple. And we spend the next seven days eating in the sukkah. So the way we celebrate this holiday, because it's known as the holiday of joy, this is a time to be happy. It's post the day of atonement, the day of forgiveness. It's post the 10 days of introspection, celebrating the new years, determining what our life is going to be for this coming year. Now it's time to be happy and to joy. How are we happy if we're living our comfortable home and we're going outside into a temporary dwelling? The happiness is going back to our basics. When we sit in this temporary dwelling, which consists of three or four walls and a roof that's made out of natural growth, such as palm branches or pine trees or bamboo mats, and we remember what life was like in the desert. 40 years we lived in the hut. Basically, God took care of us. We didn't have the comforts of a permanent home, but we lived in these, in these temporary dwellings. But God looked after us and protected us. We spend these seven days together with God. The first way of observing it is to build yourself a sukkah. It could be built out of anything as long as the wind is not going to blow it away. We build it either out of wood panels or out of canvas or out of fiberglass, whatever you could build a temporary hut. Most importantly is that the ceiling should be made out of only natural wood and vegetation for covering. In addition to eating in the sukkah, we also take four species. We take a palm branch, a willow branch, and a myrtle branch and a etrog, which is a citron. These are four unique kinds. It's called a lulav and etrog. We take these four kinds and we combine them together and we say a prayer and we shake it. These are one of the instructions that are specific in the Bible. It says, during the holiday of Sukkot, you should take for yourself a beautiful fruit. Our sages have taught us the most beautiful fruit is the etrog. It's from the citron family and they have such beautiful characteristics. What's unique about, the, about an esrog is that it can survive through all seasons of the year. The heat of the summer doesn't hurt it. The frost of the winter doesn't hurt it. These four species represent four different groups of people. The palm branch represents a taste but has no scent. The myrtle has a beautiful scent but no taste. The willow has no taste and no scent. The etrog has a scent and a taste. Represents some people study but they don't practice. Some people practice but don't study. Some people don't do any. Some people do both. When we take these four kinds and we bring them together and we show that we are truly one and we give it a shake so we can shake ourselves up and to realize how fortunate are we to be alive to celebrate another holiday and we pray to God to give us the health, the means, the ability to celebrate many more holidays with such great joy as the holiday of Sukkot. So make it a point this year more than ever to find a sukkah, either build yourself or go to a neighbor's sukkah, eat some food there. During the day, ask them to let you use the lulav, the palm and the etrog and shake it together. Your whole body will shake. You would be bringing spirituality to your whole body. You would be bringing blessings of joy for the rest of the year. May God bless you. God loves you.